Hi, this video is going to be a little bit different. First off, as you can see, I'm not loading this. He's off enjoying his fresh new fatherly duties. Congrats once again, buddy. Secondly, we will be talking about a new feature rather than a new product. And thirdly, but most importantly, we will be doing this outside at the shooting range. It's cold, it's snowing, it's freezing, but it's gonna be fun. Hi again, my name is Ludas. I am the Chief Marketing Officer at Pulsar, and I want to tell you about this new Stream Vision Ballistics app. In short, it's a full-featured mobile ballistics calculation tool for accurate long-range shooting. Extremely precise and very, very easy to use. But let's go step by step. So bear in mind that the Stream Vision Ballistics app can be paired with your supported Pulsar rifle scopes via Bluetooth, not Wi-Fi. It will soon be enabled via the upcoming firmware update for all Thermion LRF rifle scopes, starting with the Thermion 2 LRF XP50 Pro. Moreover, the app can work as a standalone ballistics calculator with the traditional daytime rifle scopes. So how does this mighty new app work? So first of all, we start by creating a ballistics profile. All we need to do is add profile, give it a name, let's say 22LR in this case. You choose type color of the reticle you want to use. You can set up the brightness. We're shooting at daytime, so it's gonna be quite bright. And then you can choose from the extensive library of the different ammunitions that we already have in there. Unfortunately, the one that I'm shooting today, the RWS Subsonic is not yet on that list. So we're gonna have to add the information manually. Starting with the ballistics coefficient, it's 0.092. The ballistics profile is G1, but you can also choose from all the different ones. Muzzle velocity is 315 meters per second. You can choose feet per second if you wish. It automatically changes uh, based on the calculations, but we will be using meters. You can also add the spin drift if you want to have windage adjustment as well. There you have to add the weight, length, caliber, barrel twist rate, and direction of your gun, but we're not gonna bother with that now. Next is the rifle scope height, which in our case is 60 uh, millimeters. Uh, this is a distance between the center of your scope um, and the center of your barrel. And then the zero range, which is 50 meters. I just zeroed it a couple of minutes ago. You can also see that the weather conditions are automatically pulled based on your geolocation. So right now it's minus one uh, and very, very humid with 95% of humidity. Now we save it and we're good. Now we are ready to upload this uh, ballistics profile to our rifle scope. In this case, it's a Thermion 2 LRF XP50 Pro mounted on this cute, lovely CZ22LR. Uh, we chose this caliber to display the bigger adjustments made at the short distances, but the same principles will apply to most rifles and calibers. Before uploading the profile, we need to connect the device to our app. So in order to do that, first off, we need to make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on and in pairing mode on the rifle scope. Okay, so now that we have our device connected to our app, uh, what we need to do is go into the specific device, all the device profiles, and choose the one we want to replace. So in this case, we're gonna replace the C profile with the 22LR. As you can see, it's already on the scope. We can activate it. You can choose the ballistic profile as before on the scope as well. And it is here, yep and we are ready to test it and see how the ballistics work. What's really exciting is I can now disconnect the device from the application and all the needed ballistic calculations will be done on the scope itself. And after measuring the range, the suggested point of aiming will be displayed on the scope screen. It will stay there until the next measurement of distance. Now, let's see how this works on the field, or in this case, the shooting range at different distances. So let's try with this one first. This target here at 52. Remember, we zeroed at 50, so there's barely any adjustment done. I'd say that's a hit. 
let's see if we can hit that target there. In this case, it's about 70 meters with minus 2.92 MOA. Now let's try another distance. That's 140 meters with minus 18.32 MOA. That's really stretching it now. Let's see if we can hit it. That's a hit. As we see, the ballistic calculations work. Even in this windy conditions, we are hitting the targets as we're supposed to. We're following the suggested point of aiming. I think we're good to go. Remember, as fun as it is, please bear in mind that safety should always be your top priority. I'm pretty sure you'll be enjoying this new StreamVision Ballistics app and the way it enables you to place precise shots at long distances. Nevertheless, I highly recommend you to keep to your usual distances during the hunt. Shooting at long distances has a lot of variables. The ammo you're using, weather conditions, your rifle, and last but not least, the shooter him or herself. So while it is fun to push it to the max while shooting at the steel targets at the range, making sure you are able to do a proper and ethical shot remains key. Stay safe, have fun, and may your shots be always on target.